hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can implement drag and drop in a recycler view so i'll show you how you can uh, move up or down a recycler row in your recycler view so let's begin by adding a layout in our uh, layout file So I'm simply adding a recycler view in my layout file. And I'll give a ID of my recycler view. And as usual, I'll be initializing uh, my recycler view inside a separate function. So now I'll get a recycler view using the find view by ID and I'll pass the ID of my recycler view, which I gave inside my layout file. And as usual, we need to add a linear layout manager on my recycler view. And at last, we need an adapter. So I need to set an adapter. But since we don't have any adapter, so let's create an adapter. But before that, let's create a data, what we are going to show on our recycler view. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a static data. I'm not making any API call because the purpose of this video is just to show you the drag and drop. So I'm keeping a global array list and I'm now creating a model class which is going to hold a type of data. So I'm giving a name as data model and keeping only one variable inside this class. I'm just now creating a setter and now the getter of this. And I'll create a constructor as well. Now we'll use the same data model class inside our array list and we'll add items manually in this array list. So I'll pass any string. I'll simply change these names just to identify which row we are moving at which position I'll show you at the time of demo and now as I said we need an adapter so let's create a separate class for our recycler view adapter and now we'll simply implement our adapter We'll override all these three functions. And now my view holder, we need to create this class. Same name what we gave above, which is going to extend our recycler view dot view holder.
and now here I'm declaring a variable which is going to hold the data to display it is also going to be the same data model type it will return the size and here will be inflating our layout and at this point of time we need a layout file so let's create a layout file for our recycler view so i'm changing it to constraint layout i'm simply adding one text view inside my recycler row And now we'll pass the same file name, comma parent, comma false. Now it will return our view holder, new my view. Inside our on bound view function okay before that let's set our text view value and now we can access this text view title inside our on bind view folder so holder dot text view and we'll simply set text and we'll set the data from the list and now we'll initialize our recycler view adapter and we'll set it to our recycler view And now we need a, a function to set the data from the outside as we are not taking this data inside the constructor so I'm creating a separate public function and this function will call from the main activity and we'll set the list. Let's run our um, application and see how it looks like at the first step. So we can see our recycler view, all the data which we added in the list. We can see it now. So now we'll begin to drag and drop. So first of all, we need to create a separate class. You can give any name and that class need to be extend item touch helper dot callback and now here we need to override all the functions And I'm creating a constructor of this class as well. But I'll implement it a little bit later.
before that let's write few more functions So it's long press, drag enable, is item view, swipe enable. We need to implement just it's need to return true and false. In get movement flag, we'll simply look for the up and down. So we are going to just uh, move a row inside up, up and down direction only so we'll simply call make movement flag and then we'll pass this drag and then zero now uh, we need to define an interface so that interface will help us to call the adapter functions So I'm declaring just the three functions for now on row moved. So that will just take from and to. So from where we are picking a row and where we are dropping. And the second function is on row selected. This function will get called when we will be pressing long press on a recycler row. And that will take the input as the view holder and on row clear this function will get called when we'll be dropping a picked row so that is also going to take the input of the recycler view holder And we'll take this interface inside our constructor wherever we'll be implementing or attaching to attaching this class or the callback to our recycler view. And now inside the our own move function, we'll simply on this interface dot on row moved and we'll get the adapter position and we'll get the target adapter position and it will simply return the true and we need to override one more function on selected change so it did not override it yet so now we need to implement this function in this first of all we need to check if state is not idle and then we'll check the instance of the view holder if it match with our recycler view adapter dot my view holder then only we are going to perform this action so we need to basically type cast to our recycler view adapter dot my view holder once it is type cast properly then we'll call on row selected of our callback and then we'll pass our view holder And now then we have write one more function that is clear view and we are going to do almost same thing let me copy this whole block we'll be checking if it is the instance of recycler view adapter and then we'll call or call back interface dot on clear and now inside our adapter we need to implement that interface and 
which we just now define inside our callback and then we'll override all the functions defined inside that interface and on oro mode will be checking the will be actually swapping the data actual data which we are displayed on our recycler view so basically the list we have which is holding the data their items also need to be swiped so we are i'm using collection dot swap here to just swap the data inside our data list And once that is done, then I'll be called notify item moved and we'll find will pass the position from and to inside on row selected. We'll simply call, we'll simply set the background so whenever we'll be pressing a long press on a row, it will change its color just to identify which row we are moving. And when we'll be dropping item somewhere on some position then we'll be setting its color back yep that's look good to me let's run our application let's long press and drag it's not dragging i think we missed something let's take a look now adapter looks good in main activity okay so we forgot to set our item touch helper callback to our adapter so let's attach that So item touch helper we need to create an instance of it with that callback and then we'll simply set or we can say attach to the recycler view that recycler view now run our application and see so we need to move a row i'm picking two so it turned gray and I am leaving it the seventh position and it turned white back. Now one more time. There you go. So I am moving it in a up direction, down direction. It's completely moving and swiping the data as well. There you go. So guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll mention the code link in the description section. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.